27, 2015, speaking as Rob Walker, Social Security Judge, Mr. Catter, we're taking up case number 15 MICB 00600. It's case styled Lester Gillespie versus Reagan Gillespie. Mr. Gillespie appears today in person with his attorney, who is Claire Coley. Also appearing today is Mr. Ivey, and Mr. Ivey appears for a say. Um, before we begin, I, I want to give you a, a disclaimer, Mr. Ivey. I don't know if you know this or not. But I used to be employed by Susanna Wesley Family Learning Center. And I, and I believe that I was employed at the same time that Mr. Gillespie was employed there. And I wanted to disclose that fact to you. Because if you, if you felt that you could not receive a fair trial today because of that fact, um, I wanted you to, to say something now. And, and, uh, and if you would want me to uh, recuse from the matter, then I would, I would do so. I can tell you this, that I've, I've been employed at a number of places over my, my years of, of age, and I don't think that my employment is going to uh, hinder or, or corrupt my decision one way or the other, but it's not important what I know. It's important that there's, that there's disclosure from the court and there's, it's important that you have trust that you're going to get a fair and impartial trial. And so with that being said, do you, do you have opposition to me remaining in the case? Would you like for me to recuse or would you like to proceed? Uh, <clears throat> I would like you to recuse, but can I put something on the record? Well, it's, we're, we're, we're on the record now, okay. but, okay. But, and, but, but that request, and, I, and I'll honor that request, I understand. Okay. I, I want to I make sure that there's, that there's no, uh, no, not even an appearance or an addition of impropriety in this. And so that's why, that's why I told you what I did. So I'm going to recuse from the matter. I'm going to send this to Judge uh, Nolan for, can, for assignment. Can I, can I finish what I was Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. <clears throat> I don't feel that I have any problem. Uh, Fair hearing in nowhere in Mississippi uh, County. Uh, and, you know, I, I asked it to be moved to someone else besides the justice that okay. be here. Because my experience, I haven't had any justice here. You'll, you'll, you'll need to bring that up to the new judge. And the, the last thing that I'd like to say that I asked <clears throat> by, I feel it's, it's a uh, conflict of interest that it was even brought to you to. Uh, consider it temporarily to this date. I asked that it be dismissed and have to be refiled to another judge because if it's a bias now, it was a bias then. The, the ex parte will remain in effect. I'm going to uh, send the matter to Judge Dolan for assignment. And then as to the request for change of venue, you'll need to, to bring that. I, I couldn't rule on that today. Uh, so we'll, uh, the, the, your new judge will, will rule on that as well. Okay. That's All right. Thank you very much. Sure. That hearing was a hearing heard on October the 27th, 2015, approximately 1 o'clock p.m. Central Time here in Charleston, Missouri at the Mississippi County Courthouse where Leslie Gillespie filed an ex pote against me saying that I was a threat to him, his family, and the Suzanne Wesley Learning Center because of my YouTube videos. Uh, saying that it would is trying to excite incite a riot and he's the target but the judge himself knew he was a lawyer for the Suzanne Wesley Learning Center he knew it was a bias then when it came on his desk he shouldn't have never heard it he should have sent it to another judge like he did when I told him I would like him to recuse himself I want everybody to share this here just to show you how things go here in Mississippi County all of my friends as Democrats I'm not telling you to change your party, but the Democrats down here in Charleston, Missouri have this monopolized black and white, and they are not for black people or people that's standing up against their corruption. They're trying to silence people like me. I thank God that it, Judge Dolan didn't hear it, and he sent it to the Supreme Court Justice in, in uh, Jefferson City, who assigned it to a judge out of Cape Girardeau, Missouri which it'll be heard December the 4th, 2015 at the Mississippi County Courthouse. Y'all coming here. It's no justice going on here. Peace be still.